All over in TikTok. This is the Kiss Falscara. Now, pretty much, it's just a last extension set. My sister already used it out, and she has used this before. She said she liked it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You get the bond, the seal, the overnight, and then the remover. So, pretty much, what you do is that you use the bond underneath your lashes. It's like really sticky. Then you apply it right underneath your lashes. Then you seal it to make it less sticky. And then overnight, it kind of like helps strengthen it. My sister said that the overnight is black, so you do have to be careful about that in case like it gets anywhere. And then it's just the remover, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Um, it does come with like an applicator too, so it is pretty good. You don't get too much falsies, so you probably get maybe two or three sets out of this. My sister said that these, there's quite a few products. You can probably just buy them separately and then just continue using them. Hopefully I don't mess this up. That would be quite sad. It has a small wand applicator. I'm just gonna bring my mirror a lot closer to me so I can really get in there. Okay, there's not that much long left, so I'm only gonna use just one of them and then and mainly the mediums. I'm getting as close as I can. Yeah, my sister was not kidding that it was really, really sticky. Now I'm gonna go in with a medium. I'm gonna go in with one more medium and then probably one short. So this is how one eye looks and I actually did not do that bad of a job. I mean, right here you can really tell that it's a little bit crooked, which I'll look up. These two aren't really connecting as much, so there's a little bit sparseness. So I'm going to go ahead and do the sealant right here and run that over my lashes. So that took about like 30 minutes to do my whole lashes and then I'm going to go ahead and seal this in. Now these are how they're currently looking. They look pretty dang good. I definitely got a lot better on my second one and of course you don't want to be wearing too much makeup so you want to like avoid it as much as possible just like regular lash extension so randomly i wanted to like vlog i didn't even really make an intro or anything the sorts but i just want to do like maybe like a monthly vlog or maybe like weekly vlog maybe that's reaching too high but today all i have planned really is going to the gym and then tomorrow which is really exciting which is the main reason why i wanted to film and actually vlog was because at the minnesota institute of art they're doing a flower bloom exhibit which they are doing flower artwork at that is inspired from the actual artwork in the museum so i thought that would be really fun to vlog so let's go ahead with our day my hair is still a little damp this is still a little bit right off the bat honestly so really really cute So this is my fit for the day. This cardigan is from Target. The necklace is from En Route. My earrings are from Forever 21, which is just like years ago. And then my jeans are from H&M, which flares out. And nice. out of 10 it's okay i think if you paired it with other stuff it might taste better so far it's it's just okay definitely does not be cookie crunch cookie crunch is by far my favorite out of all the bunches i've tried and i've tried a lot of the flavors side note my sister actually got a pet cat about like a month ago and she is like a month and a half now years old she's so cute oh, 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 oh. hi look at her she's so cute so in beauty did send me this package and i'm so excited to try using it because i've been looking and browsing their skincare products for the longest time i'm so excited thank you so much for sending this to me 
So I wanted to wait until I had a full face of makeup on to actually swatch the Clarins lip oils because the last time I swatched them on, to be fair, all I really had was just like blush and some like eyeliner. I don't think it was like a full face, so it wasn't a good way for me to like see if I actually like these. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch all of these and then I will give a like a full review of how I like them. So these are the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil Shimmer and this is in 01 sequin. Okay, so it is very silver and I don't know how the color will actually look. Also, ignore my nails because I accidentally went to sleep when they were still wet and they just did not get fully dried and I have a ton of like little fibers on them for my blanket and also like my pet dog Akuma, he decided to like lay on me. It was not good. It wasn't as silvery as I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be like really really silver on my lips but it's actually not too bad. In person it's not overbearing. Like it's just a really nice pretty shimmer with very small iridescent glitters. It's more the silver side. It's not gold. It doesn't have any gold flex in it but it is really pretty. I actually like this one a lot compared to the other ones I was wearing. Honestly I think because I wasn't wearing makeup that day and I just like decided to put them on. I don't think like it looked good but I can't wait to try the other ones. Next up is 06 Pop Coral. They still do have more of a silver metallically shine to them overall. As you can see this definitely has more silver flex into it. They don't look as bad when I first apply them. I think it truly was because I wasn't wearing like a full face of makeup on and understandable. This one is Zero Faux Intense Pink Lady. This one is super super pink. For my initial thoughts I do like these a lot more than before but it still stands that they do have silver flex in it. It's not as warm tone as I would like it but it's a lot better than what I was initially expecting. So this is number five Pretty in Pink. A little bit less subtle versus the last one that I tried which was the Zero Faux Intense pink lady. I like this one a lot more because it's not as super bright pink. I really like more like neutral my lips but better lipsticks on my lips anyways but this is a really pretty shade so this is how it looks right now. This is 07 Too Hot. Now this is the most red shade there is and this one is an exception where it actually has gold flex in it. So this one I'm actually looking forward to. I'm not sure if you guys can see the gold flex because it's so so minimal. I know that I have um, a lot of glitter on my lips actually. Actually. I think it's just not really picking up through on camera but for me in person I can tell and let me apply this on to see what it would look like with more layers to build up the opacity all of these are very pigmented but these for sure are very buildable Ooh, now that is a pretty strong red I was not expecting to get this pigmented like whoa so this is 08 burgundy wine now this one doesn't have any flex at all but it still looks very very metallic-y I don't know how this is going to look on the lip at all. Oh, that's interesting. It reminds me of these two shades. They remind me of this lip, but pretty much in a lip oil form. Like, this just looks just like it. If you guys have seen my Instagram post or even the review for the M Cosmetics Faded Clementine, this one is actually super, super pretty. I don't think it has any flex in it. I think this is just a leftover glitter from all the lip swatches that I've been doing, but I really like this one. So this is the last one, 03 in Funky Rap. Raspberry. Now this one is really interesting because the glitters in here are multi-dimensional. There's some pink, some purple, and also some gold as well. But let's try this burgundy shade. So this is one light layer of the burgundy shade. It is really pretty. A few things that I like about this lip oil though is that they are very pigmented. You guys saw how pigmented the red was able to go. Like that was so insane for just two layers. I do like how moisturizing they are. Very comforting on the lip. They're very lightweight as well. What's unfortunate is that I thought that I would actually like these colors the most because they're so similar to what I'm typically drawn to but unfortunately since they have silver glitters in it they're just too cool tone and they almost have like a really metallic-y like finish to it and I am just not a fan. I think the way that I would use them is just to put a little bit in the center right here and my lips just to add a little bit of shine or just do a very light layer of it but overall I do enjoy these lip oils. Once again I want to thank Clarence for sending me these products. I'm never wearing the appropriate PJs like this is technically more like winter Christmas time, but I'm always gonna be wearing it throughout the year. Anyways, we're gonna be doing our skincare routine. Okay, 
here is the In Beauty Retinol Remix 1% Retinol Treatment. Now, I'm super excited to use this because it's vegan retinol, peptides, and transamic acid. Now, I do have the regular transamic acid overnight treatment from the Inky List right here. And pretty much transamic acid is supposed to help reduce hyperpigmentation. So, I really like this because it's kind of like a 3-in-1. It's supposed to help firm, bright, and smooth as well. So, it has a nice pump bottle, which I do like. And, you know, girl is kind of breaking out. So, hopefully, this will kind of help reduce it. So, pretty runny and it does have some slight coloring to it so it is a little bit thicker it's not super runny even though it kind of like ran when the first get-go it's not too bad it just smells like skincare product so that was two pumps on my face probably could have gone away with just one pump but i am applying the rest over on my neck i like it a lot so far so let's see how it goes let's just look at my skin really quick because after that retinol treatment my skin just looks so so glowy and this right here just looks so much less inflamed like this is insane it is 5 48 so it's time to hit the gym this is how my skin is looking five days later so it's almost been a week since i've been using the retinol treatment and i've used it twice since then there's definitely way less inflammation and pigmentation too this is definitely healing up right here but just in general hyperpigmentation is not my friend if you guys have any ideas for any type of content definitely let me know in the comments down below but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye guys